So earlier in the conversation, you mentioned that uh, you did some early work in machine learning, and, and that's kind of particularly interesting to me for a few reasons. One is, as a roboticist, people often call me thinking that um, robotics and machine learning are the same thing, and they, they want machine learning built. And the good news is we recently brought in some really intelligent people that can do that work uh, because we just kept getting hit up for it. And so it's not my specialty, but we have some people in the group that are good at it. Um, but it is sometimes frustrating to be educating clients and, and peers about the differences between the two fields. But I don't want to harp too much on that. I guess I'd be interested in how machine learning has played into your work and what your thoughts are on that. Yeah, well, it's almost like a robot is a machine that knows how to learn. <laughs> Correct. In some cases, they don't always. So you yeah. can have robots that are rules-based, where it's just like, if this, then do exactly that, and there's no adaptivity. But you can also have you know, automatic tuning is probably a very simple example. It's all math. And yeah. just changing uh, coefficients right, and, and equations is, is what it appears to be at the base level. You obviously, you know more than me. I don't want to put my foot well, on No, I mean, you know, it's, it, it's, we were kind of talking before about um, you know, robots as being a very useful tool uh, and, and having the right problem to solve where it makes you, know, you do a better job doing it. And it's the same thing with machine learning or, you know, or, um, or artificial intelligence, right? Yeah. And, and, you know, it's this, the same thing's happening, that, that same kind of pattern that you're talking about between, you know, robots as just being a marketing thing. It's also happening on the AI side where, you know, there's a lot of stuff with AI out there. It's, it's just, it's a hot topic. And so, yep. you know, we're going to throw some AI in there and now, you know, it's good. <laughs> you know, it's like, it's like 60% of the time it works every time. <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious. And, uh, and 60% not good odds, by yeah. the way. <laughs> so, it's a statistics game, right? Yeah, exactly. No, and so it's like I, Garner hype curve where yeah. you see how many <laughs> companies are paying. Our AI is going to, you know, like make your microwave work. Do you really need AI for that? Yeah. And, and, you know, so, you know, so I, so the tail end of my, of uh, a lot of the uh, computer vision I was doing, you know, just naturally got into machine learning before AI was even a hot topic. And it's, you know, in machine learning and classification is just, you know, it's a component of AI. Um, cool. And so always in the background, there's been a little bit of this machine learning or AI that I've always been sort of working on. And, and, and so you, you see the same patterns emerge, right? That, um, that there's this problem. And, and, and so on both sides of it, we have a problem and we need a tool to solve it. And it's a pattern recognition issue, right? And so yeah. you can do your, your very straightforward analytical, um, old, you know, more analog, right? Where it's, we, we have this well-defined technique that will solve this problem for us and it gives us a solution from, you know, these inputs and now we have this output that's a solution that's versus, awesome. you know, we have a whole lot of variables and so we're gonna use some machine learning or it's a classification technique, you know, it quotes like AI and it will recognize the pattern and it will give us this solution. So